former CCAT employee says he was ready to tell his story to the Department of Labor, but has had to reschedule because he has cancer and needs further treatment. Action 10's Andy Lascano joins us now with more on his story. Well, Mike, you have to hand it to a man like Bill Mayer. I mean, here doctors are telling him he's dying from cancer, and yet Mr. Mayer is determined to let lawmakers know what happened to him and others who worked at the Corpus Christi Armory Depot in the 60s. There for five days, uh, You're watching a taping of a television program called CK, Agent Orange, and us. It's Bill Maher and friends talking about how they're suffering from cancer and other sicknesses due to exposure to dioxin and Agent Orange while working as civilian employees at the Corpus Christi Army Depot in the 60s. Uh, we want the Corpus Christi Army Depot to acknowledge our plight, to help us to do something about it rather than giving us the cold shoulder. Mayor's been leading this fight for years, trying to get Washington to admit he was exposed and thus provide health care benefits for him and an estimated 4,000 other employees who worked at the depot during the Vietnam years. Mayor's guests for this taping were people like Victor Wilmot, who was a supervisor at Hangar 43 at the depot. He says he was exposed and now has type 2 diabetes. And Alicia Santos' husband, who worked at the depot for 20 years, then died of cancer. She told us what CCAD told her. I uh, had a call from Mrs. Rosie Flores last week in which she said that she didn't have no record of my husband had, that he had worked at the base. Well, I got the proof here. That's the topic of this program, CCAD's perceived indifference to these people and their claims. Now, I didn't lose not only my husband, I lost my oldest daughter, the one that took care of him. Mercy Flores' husband not only worked at CCAD, he spent time in Vietnam for CCAD. She believes that since he was exposed, their daughter was as well. And we would hope that you would take some kind of pity on us and at least extend a helping hand or to listen to what we have to say. Why do we have to go through this TV? No, Bill Maher's television program airs Fridays at 5, Saturdays at 9 on Public Access Channel 10. That particular program that was being taped there is expected to air September 11th. We're in the newsroom, Andy Lascano, Action 10 News.